Leah taps her chin, considering, and you hold a breath until finally she speaks. I will admit, I see your point. Being an integral part of our readers' lives is at the core of Enchante's values. Still, I worry that you're thinking about our readers from a, um, an American perspective, not a French one. Okay, let me convince you. Maybe I am. And if you're wrong, let me convince you. Let me find a way to show you that all of your readers would benefit from a digital presence, not just the American ones. Leah's gaze is intense as she looks at you, as if, re as if assessing your merit, until finally she nods. Well, we'll test it then. A single social account as a trial run. On average, just over 10 million people read our magazine every month. If you can get 2 million followers, just a fifth of that, in the same amount of time, I'll consider creating a permanent digital space. 2 million followers? Is she crazy? Let's say we love a challenge. It might not be easy, but I'm up for a challenge. Before you can respond, Chloe, who has been lurking nearby, chimes in. Oh gosh. Pardon my interruption can go viral these days. Even if Taylor does somehow manage to get 2 million followers, how can we be sure they're the right ones? And not just Americans who want to watch videos of cats playing on a piano all day. You smile politely at Chloe, determined not to let her get to you. Well, Chloe, it's clear how much you care about Enchante, but I do too. I wouldn't put the magazine's reputation at risk for the sake of clicks. Chloe forces a polite smile, clearly not wanting to show her true nature in front of Leah. I'm glad to hear that. I appreciate your concern, Chloe. But as with all things at Enchante, I will have the final say. Two million followers guarantees an opening as Enchante's first digital editor, but not who will fill it. Leah turns to you, the fire challenge, and her eyes, oh no, so what do you say, Taylor? Are you up for the challenge? Two million followers in four weeks, piece of cake. I won't let you down. Okay, I say I won't let you down. You can count on me, Leah. Leah nods. I hope so. With the matter closed, Leah moves on to other business. Our first Fashion Week event is tomorrow and we'll need all hands on deck. Everyone needs to be perfect if we want to keep Seraphine happy. As Leah details the event schedule, your mind is elsewhere, making plans for the social account. When she finally dismisses you, you make your way from the office feeling, um, let's be determined to succeed. I'm going to show Leah that I deserve this job. Your mind is working overtime as you make your way back to your apartment. I'm going to start proving myself. There's no better time than the present. You pull out your phone and quickly create a new profile for Enchante. Time for my first post. Oh. Ah! I love it. Let's do cool. Bright. Cool. Let's do bright. This is cute. She's a caption. Diamonds are a dog's best friend. Glamour from head to toe. Glamour from head to toe to tail. Let's do that one. Post updated. Oh my god, we got some followers! You take a deep breath as your post goes live. You smile as likes and followers immediately begin to roll in. Okay. Satisfied with that page is off to a good start. You head back towards your apartment. Alright, apartment time. When you reach the courtyard, the florist is outside arranging what appears to be centerpieces. I should say something flirty. Let's say hi. Hello again. Oh, she's got flowers still. I mean, we don't need more. For a moment, you think she's going to ignore you, but then she turns around holding flowers. Here, in case you need it. She extends pale purple hydrangeas in your direction. Wow, we have so many flowers now. But why would I need them? You're almost, they're almost as cute as you. Oh my god, let's flirt. Not everyone can work around flowers and still be the most attractive person in the room. <laughs> the corner of her lips turns up. The closest you've seen to a smile, but then she shakes her head. We're in a courtyard, not a room. 
The lack of walls really gives it away. Oh, jeez. You don't know whether to laugh or be offended as she abruptly turns back to her work. Right, well, um, uh, they're really beautiful. Thanks for the flowers. You look up from the flowers and find her looking over her shoulder. Her gaze focused solely on you. They are. She clears her throat, turning back around. Make sure you put them in water. More confused than ever, you turn and make your way across the courtyard. As you walk away, you realize you still don't even know her name. <laughs> is she trying to be mysterious, or is she just aloof? Either way, I'm definitely into her. I'm intrigued by her, we'll say that. If there's a mystery there, I think I'd like to figure it out. Hmm. Oh my gosh! Taylor! Emily greets you with a warm hug, as if you're, you've already been friends for a lifetime. Welcome to our humble apartment. Mindy emerges from the kitchen, a bottle and three glasses in her hand. Champagne? It's the cheap stuff. Thanks, Mindy. What's the occasion? What are we celebrating? Mindy grins as she pours you a glass. This is Paris, babe. That's the only occasion we need. <laughs> Emily holds up her glass, and you and Mindy follow suit to new friends and a successful event tonight. Three of you clink glasses and Mindy takes a sip of hers. Her eyes grow wide. Excuse me, where did that come from? She points to the hydrangeas you hadn't realized you were still holding. Oh my god, don't tell me you already have a lover. Tell us everything. <laughs> um, let's ask if she knows the florist. The one who works at the shop in the corner. Emily leans in expectedly, or excitedly, giving Mindy a pointed look. Audrey? Yep, yeah, we know her. Audrey? You'd try the name on your tongue, liking how it feels. Well, that solves that mystery. I'm sorry, so you met Audrey and she gave you the most gorgeous flowers I've ever seen? But she didn't bother to introduce herself? Pretty much. Oh, say so she's impossible to read. One second she's giving me a flower, and the next she won't even speak to me. <laughs> Audrey is quiet. That's one way of putting it. Shush. She keeps to herself mostly, but I think the right person could get her to open up. And you think I'm the right person? Emily winks, holding up a red stiletto. <laughs> if the shoe fits. <laughs> Yeah, well, um, we'll see. Let's say we'll see. I don't want to say we'll feel drawn to her. There could be something there, but it's too early to know anything for sure. Yeah, Emily, stop pestering the poor woman. Me? You started it! You all laugh as Mindy blows Emily a kiss. Okay, fine. New subject. How was your first day of work, Taylor? For a few minutes, you'd almost forgotten about your lack of a job. As the reality of the situation hits you again, you groan. It wasn't great. Emily and Mindy nod sympathetically as you fill them in. I can relate. My first day was pretty terrible too. But if I could win over the people at Savior, do you really think that you've won over Sylvie? I'm working on it. <laughs> The point is, you're going to be fine, Taylor. Plus, Fashion Week is the perfect time to attract new followers. Think of the cool behind-the-scenes stuff you'll have access to. That is a good point. Of course it is. Now, stop worrying and let's find you the perfect outfit. Okay, so we're changing again. So let's leave, actually, I was gonna say leave the hair, but we could try something different for a change. I don't wanna go too different from what we were using. But, okay, that dress is not bad. I actually like it the most out of them. Um, or that we could wear that, that's disgusting. So let's try this outfit, for sure. We've got some earrings we can't see, but what about a necklace that we can see? Let's do this one. There, she looks great. Mindy grins as you join her and Emily at the mirror. Damn, we look good. She puts one arm around yours and one through Emily's, and the three of you head to party. Ooh, we're at the party. Yeah. 
The courtyard has been completely transformed for the party. Glittering lights and softly glowing candles illuminate a long table at its center. The centerpieces Audrey has been, had been working on earlier line the table. Emily, this is... I can't believe this is the same courtyard I walked through this morning. It's incredible. She nods proudly at the compliment. I can't take all the credit. It was a group effort. Speaking of... Is it going to be Aubrey? A tall man approaches, carrying a covered tray that smells absolutely amazing. Damn, you've really undone yourself this time, Gabriel. I'm pretty sure they all heard my stomach growl at the same time in the Bordeaux. Emily laughs as he sets the trays on one of the tables. Taylor, this is Gabriel. He owns the restaurant just across the courtyard. He's an incredibly talented chef. Oh, hello, Gabriel. He extends his hand and smiles. Emily here is biased, but it's a pleasure to meet you, Taylor. You too. I'm new to Paris. I actually just moved here this morning. I couldn't be more grateful. I ran into Emily and Mindy. Gabriel's eyes linger on Emily. Yes, they are quite wonderful. Her cheeks flush, and Mindy clears her throat, breaking the, the moment. Yeah, we are. <laughs> anyway, is Camille here yet? Not yet, but I'm sure she'll be here soon. Emily smiles brightly, but it doesn't quite reach her eyes. Gabriel's girlfriend, Camille, is our star auction item. She's auctioning off a date night. She glances at Gabriel, whose polite smile has turned into a frown. Yeah, his girlfriend's giving out a date. All for fun, of course. I see. Uh, you don't mind, Gabriel? You're okay with your girlfriend going on a fake date with someone else? Gabriel lightly laughs, shrugging. <laughs> it's not up to me. Camille Wall does what Camille wants. Suddenly, Emily's face transforms. There you are! Is it Camille? A handsome man in a fashionable suit makes his way across the courtyard. Is it her boyfriend? Hiya, Cooper. He kisses Emily's cheek and her smile gets impossibly wider. This is my boyfriend, Alfie. Alfie, this is our new American friend, Taylor. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I've heard a lot about you. Emily's told me good things. Oh, yeah? Well, I should hope so. Emily brushes as, or blushes as Alfie pinches her waist, and then she leans into his side, punches her waist. <laughs> I hate to interrupt this love fest, but who is that? Mindy points across the courtyard, practically salivating as you turn to find Oliver. You feel a rush of pleasant surprise at seeing him. I didn't know he was going to be here. That's Oliver. I'm sorry, one day in Paris and you've already met the sexiest man I've ever seen. <laughs> What's his deal? His deal? Well, I saw him first. Let's just say he knows shock. He was at the bookstore this morning. It seems like the two of them go way back. I'd like to get to know him on his back. Oh my god. Mindy! What? I'm just being honest. Oliver looks up, as if he can feel your gaze, and his eyes land on you. A smile slowly spreads across his face, and he holds up a hand in a greeting. I should wave? Let's call him over. You beckon Oliver over, and his smile grows. His, he excuses himself from his conversation and makes his way over to you. <gasps> Twice in one day, I must have done something to please the fates. It's wonderful to see you again, Taylor. Hello, Oliver. I hoped you'd be here to listen. I was crossing my fingers I'd run into you again soon. Oliver's eyes drop to your hand as if the motion of your fingers makes him want to hold them. Oh, I was hoping that you would be here as well. I so enjoyed our meeting this morning. Though it seems I'm not the only new acquaintance you've made on your first day in Paris. Emily and Mindy have been staring at Oliver with what can only be described as heart eyes. <laughs> you bite back a laugh as you introduce them. These are my friends, Emily and Mindy. Emily organized all of this. Oliver turns to her with a gracious smile. I can't thank you enough for putting this together. It means the world to Jacques. Even Alfie and Gabriel seem charmed by Oliver as he reaches into his jacket pocket. Jacques refuses my help directly, but I thought you might accept my donation. He hands her a slim envelope, 
with a check inside. Her eyes grow wide as she looks at it. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. Wow, Oliver, that's really generous. You must really care about Jacques. I do. He's been in my life since I was a boy. He's been like a second father to me in many ways. He shrugs. And since I can't stay for the auction, this is the least I can do. Oh, you aren't staying? I'm afraid I can't. Unfortunately, I have a work obligation I must get to. But I do wish I could stay. He looks to you, and you get the feeling that he doesn't just mean for the auction. I'm certain the auction will be as lovely as the rest of the evening. Emily beams at the praise. Oh! This late at night? That's disappointing. While well, you're missing out. This late at night? It seems a bit late for a work obligation. Oliver chuckles. My work obligations are often the winning and dining variety. Are often the winning and dining variety. Whining. Jesus. I usually enjoy them, but tonight the thought of having to leave this courtyard. His gaze pulls you in as he shakes his head. It's almost painful. He steps closer, and for a moment it's like you, you're you the only two in the courtyard. I do hope chance will bring us into another one another's path again soon, Taylor. Oliver, let's say I'm counting on him. I'm starting to look forward to our run, our run-ins. That makes two of us. <gasps> Oi! I don't know what he said. Jacques arrives, and he yells across the courtyard when, Oli when he sees Oliver. Oliver cringes at the nickname. Oh no. He's the only one who still calls me that. I better go say hello. Enjoy the rest of your evening, Taylor. I should... Let's kiss his cheek. <gasps> you lean in and press your lips to Oliver's cheek. <gasps> the heady smell of his aftershave fills your senses. His hand finds your waist and it lingers as you finally pull away. <gasps> Good night, Oliver. Good night, Taylor. <gasps> oh my goodness. Mindy watches him go wistfully, letting out a long sigh. Well, I couldn't let her have him. I need a drink or a cold shower. You and Emily laugh as Gabriel shakes his head. <laughs> and I need to get the rest of the food set up. He and Mindy walk away, leaving you with Emily and Alfie. Is there anything I can do to help? Just enjoy yourself. There's... Sorry to interrupt. I just need to know where to put these. It's Audrey. You turn to find Audrey holding a basket full of beautiful corsages. Emily's face lights up and Audrey's expression is unreadable. Audrey, I'm so glad you're here. This is Taylor. I believe you two have met. There's a glimmer in her eyes as she responds. Yes, we have. Oh, well, kind of anyway. We hadn't been officially introduced or anything. Well, now you have, and just in time. She motions to the basket of corsages. One of these are for you. They're a gift for all of our most special guests this evening. She takes the basket from Audrey's hands. Alfie and I will pass these out. Audrey, will you be a doll and help Taylor put hers on? Oh, jeez. She winks from behind Audrey as they leave the two of you alone. Audrey clears her throat and extends the corsage toward you. May I? You hold out your hand. Yes. Um, now that I know your name, I'll say that. I was starting to think you were just some figment of my imagination. The namelessness, or the nameless florist down the street. Her expression is stoic, but there is laughter in her reply. I assure you, I'm very real. She slips the corsage onto your wrist, adjusting it slightly. She pulls away, her fingers brush your skin, and you feel... an unmistakable spark. You look up and find her eyes on yours. Her gaze intensifies. Taylor! It's the first time she said your name and the word heavy with emotion. Yes? I... Uh, I'm glad you're here tonight. Her hand moves to yours, her mouth curving into a smile as she palms your touch, as your palms touch. This night is more beautiful with you in it. Oh, jeez. Then she stiffens and lets your hand fall. 
Anyway, I should go make sure the rest of the flowers are okay. Enjoy your evening. Emily, who had been eyeballing the two of you from across the courtyard, rushes over as Audrey leaves. Well? Emily! <laughs> I'm still not sure. She's so hot and cold, I don't know what to think. Emily winks. From what I saw, there was nothing cold about those sparks flying between you two. Just give it time. I'm sure she'll be easier to read once you get to know each other a little better. Anyways, it's the perfect time to get this party started. I'll see you after the auction. She squeezes your hand excitedly before taking off towards the head of the table. Still trying to make sense of what just happened with Audrey, you go find your seat. You find your name card between Mindy and Gabriel. The chair on the other side of Gabriel is still empty. Camille isn't here yet. Gabriel shakes his head, looking annoyed. I text her, but she hasn't replied. Well, she better get here soon. The date she's auctioning off is our top item. Mindy. You could fill in? Why not? Let's do the fill in. Let's say she'll be here. I don't know her and I don't want her to walk by me and be like, I'm gonna be here. Right, Gabriel? You turn to him with a smile and he doesn't look so sure. Uh-oh. Well, we'll see. Great. <clears throat> Excuse me, everyone. You all turn to Jacques, who is standing at the head of the table, looking teary-eyed. Oh. <sighs> this place has been in my family for almost 200 years. That means we have also been a part of this community for almost 200 years. For our American friends who may not know, this means ink drinker. I believe it is something like your bookworm. Emily nods encouragingly. That you ink drinkers would do this for me means more than words can say. Which for a man who sells books is really something. <laughs> he sniffles and Emily immediately wraps him in a hug before she takes before he takes his seat at the table. That was so sweet. Emily turns back to the crowd with a wide smile. Alright, everyone, it's time for the auction portion of our evening. Why don't we start things off with a bang? Our first auction item is a date with... Her gaze lands on the empty chair beside Gabriel, and he raises his hand apologetically. <gasps> a date with... She frowns, but her eyes light up when they shift to you. A date with our new American friend, Taylor. <gasps> oh my god! I'm gonna kill her. No way I'm going up there. As if she can read your mind, Mindy reaches over and squeezes your hand. You can yell at Emily later. Right now, Jacques and the bookstore need you. You remember Jacques' expression from before, so full of hope and reluctancy. Rise from your chair, and reluctantly you, re you rise from your chair. Ugh. Emily pulls you into a tight hug when you reach her side and whispers in your ear, You're a lifesaver, Taylor. I owe you one. Emily, uh, you definitely owe me one, and I mean big time. Emily laughs apologetically as she pulls away. I saw you enjoying that bag in my closet. Do this for me, and it's all yours. She turns back to the crowd with a winning smile. So what do you say we start the bidding with uh, 500 euros? Emily grins as you give her a disbelieving look. 500 euros? I'm worth more than that. <laughs> Let's say this is crazy. I can't believe I let her talk me into doing this. Your stomach turns as seconds tick by, each one somehow longer than the last. I'm gonna die of embarrassment if no one bids on me. This is a thousand euros. <gasps> there are a few impressed gasps, as, <laughs> but you barely hear them as you lock eyes with Audrey from across the courtyard. <gasps> Oh my god! Did Audrey just bid a thousand euros to go on a date with me? Oh! Chapter 1 complete! Oh, these are all of my choices. Locked choices. Oh, from not choosing those? Wow. Does Leah mean that even if I get two million followers in a month, the job might still not be mine? I can do it! <laughs> Alright. This was a lot of fun. I think that it was literally an hour, <laughs> so I'm probably going to cut it into two episodes, but I'm honestly having the greatest time with this game. It's a lot, a lot of fun. So um, I don't know if the next chapter is out yet. It did say it was weekly and that this just started. 
So I'm really excited. Let's get to, to getting more on the channel. So if you enjoyed this, please be sure to like and subscribe, and we will get to doing more soon. All right, guys, take care, and have a great day. Bye! Thank you.